And Katie Couric aired a special edition of her talk show today. She was talking directly to those affected by the tragedy in Newtown and the difficult task of trying to move forward. News 8's Keith Koontz talked to Katie earlier today and joins us now with more. Keith. All right, Darren and Ann, thank you so much. Katie Couric has traveled to Newtown twice since 26 lives, including those 20 innocent children were killed at Sandy Hook Elementary School nearly three months ago. Today, she talked to family members who continue to relive the nightmarish events of December 14th. And inside in an emotional broadcast from Town Hall in Newtown, with members of the audience at the time wiping tears from their eyes, Katie Couric spoke to people who lost loved ones at Sandy Hook. Bill Sherlock lost his wife of 36 years, Mary, on that terrible day, and she remains never far from his mind. In a lot of little, little ways during the course of a day, it can be a song on the radio and you hit the button real quick. Uh, it can be a reaction to something where you say, geez, I wonder what Mary's going to think about this. Couric first went to Newtown the day after the shootings. Earlier today, I asked her why it was so important for her to bring the show back to the community almost three months later. You know, we didn't want to forget this story. We didn't want to forget the family, so we thought it was critically important to to go back to the community. Couric um, also spoke to Nicole Hockley, who can. lost her six-year-old son Dylan in the tragedy. She and says making it through it each day to seems to be getting happened. even tougher. To this day, I still don't totally comprehend it. You still just expect, um, I still expect Dylan to just come out from the next room at any time. Members of a grassroots organization called Sandy Hook Promise um, were also in the audience. They spoke of their efforts to help Newtown and the nation the move forward. The, the group is really twofold. It's one to help the community heal, and uh, second is to uh, make our community and our nation safer um, from similar acts of violence. And people in Newtown also talked to Katie about their ongoing struggle to find a new normal in their lives. As one of the fathers said to me, you know, people say, I can't imagine this happening. And he said, I want every parent in this country, I want to force them to imagine what, how this happened and if it had happened to them. The broadcast also featured victims of the mass shootings in Virginia Tech and at Aurora, Colorado. Both came to Newtown to counsel and support grieving family members and speak out about their own push for tighter gun control laws.